Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going over what is arguably the most requested series I have ever had. The Mandela Catalog. This series is about the town Mandela County and how it's been affected by alternates and this thing called the intruder. Alternates like to copy the look of humans and the intruder is responsible for thousands of children going missing. Today we are going to go through the entirety of act one of the series and also this entire video was live streamed on my YouTube beforehand. So just to let you know this video won't be edited as much as they usually are but I still hope you enjoy it regardless. As always the original creator's channel will be linked in the description. Be sure to go support the the original work. Enough of me talking, let's hop right in. Video 1. Overthrown. Captions will be on just because I know that the captions say things differently than the actual video does, so hopefully we don't miss anything. Don't be afraid. I bring good news of great joy for you and all people. Tonight, your Savior was born in David's town. He is Christ, the Lord. You will find him wrapped in swaddle cloth, lying in a manger. Let's go, religion. Okay. Rejoice, Jesus is born. There was a woman named Mary, who lived in the city of Nazareth. She was in love with a man named Joseph. Jesus Christmas. That is, okay. That voice is a little agonizing, but it's okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Mary was a man of her team, but she got a very special message from a man named I am the angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. News? For me? You gotta be kidding. Whatever God wants, I will do. Damn, I wanna know what he wants you to do. Since when do angels speak in binary? Oh? Is that Gabriel in the window right there? I think he wants him to wake up. Whoa. Do not be afraid, my dear shepherds. I have prayed to Nah, I would definitely be afraid. Um, how frozen I became and powerless then, ask it not, reader, for I write it not, because all language would be insufficient, I did not die, I alive remains not, think for thyself now, hast thou out of wit, would I become, being of both deprived, what I became. Can't you see? I deceive them. Such weak minds. I am bound to chains on my ankles. That grow heavier with every step. The infinite amount of sand will be my tomb. 
and my foolishness will be my legacy. If there is a God, please help me. Okay, <laughs> that's how we're ending it. All right. Um, oh God. All right. So this is clearly important. Uh, this binary code, according to Kazoo Kid six one one three, the binary spells out, "I am the one true savior. I must reverse the delusion." This is where I struggle, chat, because I'm not big on religion, so I don't know the original story. <laughs> so this is where you guys come in to help and possibly explain to me. So which is the reverse? Okay, I believe I understand. Gabriel is not actually Gabriel. Okay, impersonating. Copy, copy, copy. You guys are saying it's actually Satan. Video two, volume one. Oh, so yeah, who are you? I don't like that smile he gave to that. United States Department of Temporal Phenomena. Until we have a complete understanding of the threat, it is important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or other ranged weapon at all times. You will know if an alternate exists based solely on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person with any sort of biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. Okay, I do definitely think this one on the right is unrealistic and uh, be a red flag to anybody, I think. If something was upside down 24-7 like this. If an alternate manages to enter your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily discourage any kind of contact or communication with an alternate, we make excuses for attempts at executing them yourself. Okay, so try as much as you can not to make contact with these alternates including even just speaking to them because they use psychological warfare against you i'd like to know a little more on that to understand when in doubt follow the think principle tell an authority figure about your encounter okay so call the popo hinder the alternates movement okay identify the threat level Neutralize the alternate, if safe to do so. Know your place in reality. They mean that in a good way, or? Know your enemy. Dude, wow, wait. So this is regular and this is an alternate? That is extremely similar. This bro just went bald and got the Mega Mind dome. That is very similar though. Okay, that's Now that's very obvious, I think. <laughs> I think this one's very obvious that this is an alternate now. That one too. Ah, yes. Mark Heathcliff and Cesar Torres. Um, warning, just in general for this entire series and uh, everything we're about to watch. Um, sensitive topics such as um, suicide, self-harm, 
uh obviously a little violence here and there um just be aware of all this also again headphone or headphone warning for people might get super loud might get super low i'm going to try to keep the volume as adjusted as i possibly can but there are times where it's going to get extremely loud so just want that to be clear for everybody call transcription september 13th 1992 september 13th is my birthday No, it's fine, don't worry. What's up, are you alright? Yeah, it's not me, it's my mom. She's knocked out cold and I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? Oh, yeah. Mind if I ask why? Well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? What the broadcast told us it is? Yeah, that's the weird part. Maybe she saw something? I don't, I don't know. Alright, shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing. Try to get a good view of the back hallway, if you don't mind. Okay. Alright, I gotta go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you. Okay, so Caesar calls up Mark. Is basically like, uh, yo, Mark, um, my mom passed out. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. She screamed or something. Uh, we're on our way to the ER. But Mark, can you go over to our house and turn on our cameras? I forgot to turn off the alert box. Hey, Marcus. Caesar's basically like, Mark, can you just come over and turn on the cameras? Uh, cameras that they apparently got installed after they got robbed. And Mark's like, yeah, sure. I'll go turn them on. Um, but I'm leaving right after I turn them on. Caesar's like, okay, but can you check the back hallway for me? And again, Caesar has no idea why his mom passed out, why any of that happened. So clearly something sketchy is going on at Caesar's house. And now Mark is going to go over there and turn on these cameras for him. Should have said no. Definitely should have said no. Item exhibit, item exhibition, item 03, CCTV footage, points of interest. Damn. 9.56 p.m. Would not be going over to a friend's house alone this late at night. Oh, so Mark turned him on and left already. You heard him get in his car. Motion detection save 3.31 a.m. to 3.33 a.m. The hallway. The stairs, basement stairs. Living room. Okay, I do. All right, I, I already know how this is going to go. I know I'm going to start getting confused by dates and the whole nine. So I'm writing down just when this takes place. So this is September 13th slash 14th um, of 92. Oh, we got... Alright, so somebody's walking in the yard. Somebody broke in the house. God damn, talk about a stomper. Bro's gonna stick his feet through the floor. I think it said, where'd you go, Mark? What happened to the living room cam?
that made me so uncomfortable. Uh, item exhibition, item 13, notebook, collected for investigation. Reassurances. It followed me home, Caesar. I do not want to see what is on the other side, but it has been days and nobody has come to help me. Poor Mark, man. Item exhibition, item 17, camcorder, collected for investigation. Item exhibition, unlabeled tape. I have a gift for you. I have a present. I have a surprise. Your metal filter is full of free. Blitz, What is it saying? Don't open the door! Where you go, Mark? Mark, close the door! Okay. It's right there. You fucking bastard! Bad decision, Mark. You can see the face up there. All right. Uh, different section, I guess. I want to finish this first and then we'll talk about everything. Police department. Mandela County Police Department. Yeah, how are they dealing with this? A situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to the police department instead. Law enforcement. When police attention is needed, send available personnel to the address provided by the caller. This all sounds pretty basic. When there is a fire-related emergency, contact the neighboring fire department with the provided address along with a brief description of the event. Medical. When the caller has a medical related emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital, where their reception will take control of the line. Encounter. Yeah, the music's gone. Do not help a caller reporting a home intrusion no matter how frantic their screams are. Calmly reassure the caller that help is on the way. End the call when they stop responding. We thank you for taking the time to learn by viewing the... 95 in increase in mad cases, 1982 quarter three. Okay. That's so interesting. That's nearly 10 years before what we just watched. Metaphysical awareness disorder is a severe mental illness that has seen a sudden return in recent months. MAD is the result of exposure to verbal information that is not desired to be known. 
the rate of death by suicide in patients diagnosed with MAD is 97%. 97. Don't worry, the remaining 3% makes it worth trying to reverse the delusion. Avoiding development of MAD is the first step to being safe. It is recommended to avoid excessively frequent religious practice, as well as any belief in unnecessary philosophical implications. Always remember that looking after your friends, family, and loved ones is a key factor for maintaining mental stability. Okay, so did Mark get MAD? I want to finish the video because I feel like I'm going to be asking questions that are going to get any answers. Please take the time to make sure your child is now in front of your television in distraction-free environment. All right, guys, get your toddlers, put them in front of the... Do not actually do that. I am kidding. Don't actually do that. Wait until dusk to proceed. Make sure no lights are on in your chosen testing environment. The only illumination should be coming from your television. Every parent knows their child best. If you suspect your child absolutely cannot handle the test, you may remove them from the environment and update your psychiatrist. Test will begin shortly. Remember to have your data sheet prepared for results. Got mine. Section one. Box. Aw, birdies. Aw, like a music box sound. Take care of that thing. Section two. Is that my boy Dracula? That's creepy for me. Can't imagine a toddler. Tomorrow, Mr. Havisham will take you to your grandfather. And you will live with him at the castle. But I shall not go with you. Item 97, childhood drawings. All right, something's definitely wrong now. <laughs> The Scary Night by Mark, age four. School Mandela Elementary School, grade 4K. I feel like this definitely should not be a part of this section. Daddy didn't check under my bed last night. So I went to mommy's room. I was scared. There was scary knocking on the door. And the scariest part is walking by the dark room by the stairs. Good drawing, good drawing. Almost at mommy's room, then I saw the man in the corner. Him. And then I fell asleep. The end. It's a bit of uh, it's a bit of an abrupt ending there, Mark.
an intruder. Test module complete. If anything unexpected occurred during the test, please take note on your data sheet. A lot to digest, dude. Oh my god, that's not even... That's not even the longest video by far. Uh, we learn about alternates and that they exist. Um, you're supposed to avoid them at all costs. You can kill them, but only if it seems like a good idea, basically. So I guess if an alternate's distracted doing something else and you got a gun next to you, um, shoot them. Uh, then we get the whole Mark and Caesar conversation. Uh, Caesar's mom passes out. Caesar's bringing his mom to the ER. He calls up Mark and is like, Mark, yo, can you just go turn on the security cameras at my house? I'm headed with my mom to the ER. We just want to make sure the cameras are on. So this is what's confusing to me. Is this an alternate Caesar or, or was Caesar an ultimate an alternate since the phone call is what's confusing so yeah so then the alternate ends up finding mark's house as we see it followed me home caesar i do not want to see what is on the other side but it has been days and nobody has come to help me um now for the part that it has been days could connect to the part of where um they literally say if somebody calls and it's for a home intrusion like basically do not help them uh, i think that can explain that but we see that Mark ends up opening the door and we hear a gunshot and then we get bad decision Mark from the original. I believe this implies that Mark, you know, killed himself uh, to avoid it. So did Mark get MAD because of the alternate that was in his house? Okay, so alternates do just cause MAD. Gotcha. Yeah, so then we learn about MAD. And then um, we have the whole toddler assessment test, which starts pretty normal, just playing sounds. And then um, we end up learning about these childhood drawings by, I'm guessing is the same Mark, uh, when he was in fourth grade that he heard knocking on his door. And then he saw the man in the corner. We get a nice little picture of him. Very cool. Very cute. And then uh, it seems that we straight up see who the man in the quarter in the corner was. And that is the intruder and that's what we got so far video three intruder alert okay he's inside my home mandela county child endangerment awareness association presents Keep an eye on your children. Let's face it, us parents know how time-consuming it is to keep an eye on our young children. While working is essential, they must receive attention from us so that they know we love them too. Some of us may rely on key things that keep them entertained, like toys, walks in a stroller, or even cartoons on the family television. Be cautious with what channels your children view on the television, since you never know what harmful content they may be seeing. Your children may be viewing elements of violent content, sexual content, graphic content, scary imagery. They exist on different spectrums. If you hear your child screaming or crying in front of the television, wait until your child stops making noise before entering the room. You will be- Baby is gone.
All right. There it is. Distraught at the sight of her missing child. Is that what that said? Emergency alert system. Local authorities issued an immediate safety warning for multiple counties. Local authorities have issued an immediate safety warning to multiple counties. Please await further instruction. Three thousand four hundred and a total of three thousand four hundred and twenty six children have gone missing within the following counties Bythorn County, Workshire County, Mandela County, Yonder County. Deter vulnerable children away from any television or medium that can project possibly frightening imagery. That's a lot of missing children, man. Property of Mandela County Police Department. Suicide investigation recording number one. After receiving neighboring noise complaints of prolonged childlike crying followed by a loud crack, an investigator was sent over to survey the home in the form of photos and video. Primary victim's home. After taking the previously shown photo, the investigator reported feeling an overwhelmingly an overwhelming sense of dread and left the scene immediately. In order to provide security until another investigator was available, an on-site officer volunteered to set up a camera that took one photo every five minutes facing the room that the event occurred in. Image one, threat level none. Threat level none. Threat level vague. Threat level none. Threat level evident. Victim's corpse is seen being tampered with by invisible force. Censored. Conclusion. The suspect shown in the evident images is completely unidentifiable at this time. The entire department has ruled out the possibility of it being an alternate. Said images will be sent to the higher-ups for further analysis. Previously shown evidence must not and will not be released to the public for any reason. Lieutenant Davis. Alright, so the intruder is a completely different threat from alternates, apparently, is what I'm getting from that. I feel like that's why it says at the end that um, they completely ruled out that it's an alternate. So this thing comes through the TV, this intruder comes through the TV and takes children. Does it also give mad through the tv yes okay now what's really confusing to me is that it seems like it's something that's only through the tv but then it's it's seen on this camera so does it go through all devices because that same thing is seen right here from a camera level at this point i do feel like um they like the alternates and the intruder have the same origin i just don't know how they're connected yet okay so it infects all devices okay if anybody's watching this video and thinks I'm getting completely thrown off on what is going on here, blame chat. I'm trusting chat so much here. <laughs> video 4. Metaphysical Awareness Disorder. Am I scared? No. Am I disturbed? Yes. Prevent yourself and your family from going mad. Metaphysical awareness disorder is a fatal mental illness that has been making a sudden return in recent months. Mad development demonstration. Patient is on the left. Hello patient. What's good? Who's that on the right? Oh, it's auto 
power generated. MED is a result of exposure to verbal information that is not desired to be known. The rate of death by suicides in patients diagnosed with MED is 97%, but don't worry. Okay, so yeah, this is this does seem to just be a re, uh, rehashing of what we learned in Volume 1, but I just want to go through that again. MED is a result of exposure to verbal information that is not desired to be known. I'd love to actually know what that information is. Information that is not desired to be known. The rate of death by suicides in patients diagnosed with MAD is 97%, but don't worry. The remaining 3% makes it worth trying to reverse the delusion. Avoiding the root causes of metaphysical awareness disorder development is the first step to being safe. First, avoid excessively frequent religious practices. Avoid unnecessary beliefs and philosophical implications. Last but not least, looking after your loved ones is a key factor for maintaining mental stability. Avoid opening your eyes when you are certain that the man in the corner is in fact now inches away from your face. Watching. So most of that we already knew, except for that end portion. I don't even know what that was at the end. But we'll just, we'll move on to the next one. Video 5. Exhibition. Somebody's getting a phone call. house for some fresh air. Jesus Christ, that was loud. What did that say on the screen there? It did say something, right? I'm not sure. Oh. Type 2 detectable. Got a picture of two kids. Indelico Crime Investigations, 1992. All right. Heathcliff. Altercation Evidence Reel, Case 00432. Agency, Mandela County Police. Collector, Thatcher Davis. You get the name again. Item 17. Time, 3.21 a.m. Location, Mark Heathcliff's. Bedroom. Description, personal camcorder. Oh, so this is more footage. Okay, this is the same church that we just got a picture of two people in front of. Bro, who is revving their engine in front of the house? Jesus, come on, man. I get it, you got small balls. God.
August 30th, 92. It's like 13 days before the incident. This is the episode right before volume two. Okay, the door just opened. Isn't that the staircase in the basement to the basement in Caesar's house? Yeah, and this is the hallway in Caesar's house too, right? Okay, that's somebody peeking in through the window. Remarks. Footage implies that Heathcliff has been paranoid for a prolonged period. Yeah, because there's a lot of footage from days before he died there. Reasons are implied, yeah. Gabriel. And no wonder, for Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Alright, so that, yeah, alright, there you go. I see why you guys were saying he's Satan now. <laughs> That's a little on the nose. Needed that. The death of Mark Heathcliff. United States Department of Temporal Phenomena. Yeah, what is the creature then? Is it... An if you or a loved one has recently been affected by the result of exposure to analog television and mirrors, contact your local authority immediately. Financial compensation will not be available. If you have any further questions in relation to the recently issued television and mirror destruction disorder, call the number below. Alright, there's no way, right? There's no way it works. You, you guys know, if you guys have seen the videos, you know I'd call every time because we have to be sure. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call can now be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Announcement for Welcome to Verizon Wireless.
All right, that was apparently the season one finale. Video six, volume two. Here we go. Winter break 2009. 2009? Let me pause this. Wanted by the FBI, Adam Murray and Jonah Marshall. Suspects possibly associated with the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Uh, Bythorn, I believe, is one of the neighboring towns to Mandela County. Bythorn Paranormal Society, how may I help you? Hello? Uh, may I schedule an appointment? Of course, ma'am. Where's the location? My home. One. Damn. Okay, thank you. Would you mind giving me a brief description of what you've been experiencing? I've been hearing things. Like what, ma'am? I still hear the meows of my old cat, Johnny. But the little guy passed away a few years ago. Uh, really? A freaking cat alternate? Shh! I don't think it's an alternate. I just think his soul roams the house still. I want to make sure he finds peace in whatever realm he resides in. Do you think you could help guide him? We can certainly try, ma'am. When would you like us to visit? As soon as possible, please. When's your next opening? Well, we could do tonight if you want. Can you do three nights? I'm away from home on a business trip. I'm sure this will give you enough time to deal with him. Uh, well... How about 500 a night? Oh, hell yeah! All right. Sounds like a plan. Uh, we will help your cat, ma'am. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you can think. No problem, ma'am. It's just what we do. Bro, this sounds like the craziest bait of all time. Um, interesting to know though that alternates are like so normalized now that it's just like in a phone conversation, like, hey, do you think it's an alternate? Oh my god, I don't think it's an alternate. Like, it's just weird that they're talking about it so casually, um, given how actually terrifying alternates are. But okay, this lady is basically calling Adam and he's like, yo, my uh, my dead cat, I still hear him meowing. I think his spirit needs to be guided to the other world. And Adam's like, I don't really want to do it. And she's like, oh, you don't want to do it? Uh, how about $500 a night for three nights? And obviously that is, this just seems like a whole trap. <laughs> but it seems like that they normally do deal with alternates, which is interesting. Like that's what their business is. Open the trunk. Now, are you really sure you got it? Cause I can- Just open the damn trunk, Jonah. Hmm. You guys can do that. <laughs> got anything we actually- Horror, 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 horror. <laughs> Sorry. Not like we can do anything about it now. Shit. You got anything left? Uh, no. You used everything already? Damn it! Well, we don't gotta worry about income anymore, since we got this massive freaking payday, right? Uh, well, we got a couple options. Which are? We either, one, ask someone to help start our car with the cables, or... Steal another one? Yeah. Uh, it's broad daylight now, but it's not like anyone's gonna call the cops here. Right. And we'd be doing yet another delinquent act, but it's not like we aren't already on the run anyway. So they'd just be casually stealing cars? Okay. Image 16, Adam trying to fix the car while I eat chips, LMAO, Jonah. And they're wearing Bythorn Paranormal Society shirts. It's so interesting that they have a business despite stealing cars to make get it done. 
which 24 welcome to mandela county all right so the job that they're doing is in mandela Yeah, I agree. I hate when my car and breaks down. Say, she's not even crazy. Who's to say she's not as high as I'm going to be in 30 minutes? Uh, I would hope us, because the last thing I need is getting a weird house call from a stoned lady about a dead cat, and then there'd be nothing, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Right? Half of me thinks that there aren't even alternates, and the mayor was just too stupid to just make that entire uh, infographic. Yeah, but then, like, why are we getting getting so many calls about alternates in the first place? Well, maybe because every maybe it's mass hysteria, right? Do you think this is the rise of the war on alternates? I don't know. I'm. We're just two guys driving. So they doubt that they even exist. Somebody made a wrong turn. You will arrive at your destination in 10 minutes. Holy shit, that's actually really useful. I mean, they didn't have to outlaw these things, did they? Like, I doubt that guy's face could appear on something like this and, you know, kill you. I don't know. No, they did not. I guess crime really does pay. Okay, so interesting. So even... So at this point, they outlawed all types of screens, including this GPS that they're using, because it does have a screen on it. Very, very interesting. I like how you're making us out to be gangsters when all we did was, you know, get all of this. I know, I know. It's just, we left our whole lives under the radar, right? Like a quiet kid. GPS signal, 4 out of 10. The signal's low. Night 1, January 12th, And again, Cat Lady's not home for the weekend, I believe. Empty room with cat door. <sighs> um. There's one camera in there already, but it's one of those old ones with the tapes and stuff. It will record, but I won't be able to see it in real time. I'll just have to look at it afterwards. Here, kitty, kitty. Everything okay? Are you at peace here? <laughs> you look so stupid right now. Dude, what am I supposed to do for a literal ghost cat? What's... What's it gonna do? Just... Uh, us to death? Like, what are we doing here? Would you mind taking this seriously for once? I mean, in the end, I don't really have to take that much seriously at all. Because I'm in here, and you're in there, and you're... Yeah, because you were too... It is Caesar's house, right? Was that not the same hallway? Too scared to go inside to begin with. Not too scared. I'm not too scared. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm not. I just... I'm allergic to cats. You seeing this? Uh... The door? It, it's locked tight. It's kinda weird. Trying to... Um, do you have anything to, you know, tear it down? I'm not gonna bust down this random lady's door. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little it's extra, fine. Jonah. Find out. Anyways, moving on. The only locked door in the house. 
Definitely nothing good behind that. Oh, you, uh, you see anything in there? So, so you guys are saying it's the same house? See, that's my thing too with analog horror and stuff like that. When it's the same location inside a house, I could also see it just being that situation because they only have one house to film in, right? You know what I mean? Their own. So I wouldn't, <laughs> you know what I mean? I wouldn't be against that, but I feel like that specific hallway camera angle was like, showing you this is the same house internal hardware microphone is damaged for an unknown reason please visit your local electronics retailer for assistance or recalibrate yourself no i mean there was nothing besides that weird kind of locked door not a meow not a noise nothing see anything weird on the cameras at all yeah i'm not i'm just going through this i don't think i see anything either i mean who knows maybe that thing's just locked downstairs yeah, the more, I'm not going to lie to you, man, the more I look at this house, the more I, the more I really don't want to be in that. I mean, I don't see anything. I think we're just kind of babysitting an empty house for three nights. I mean, I think the best thing that can happen is we just leave now and then we say we were here the entire time. Because I'm, I'm looking at this house and I'm looking at this footage and even though there's nothing too threatening about it, I don't, I don't like it. I really don't like it. It's literally just an empty house, bro. Can you suck it up for three nights? <sighs> suck what? Error 333. Is that an angel number? Where did that come, did that come from? I think that came from the house, man. I really don't like this now. I'm the opposite. This is kind of interesting. <sighs> I don't... I don't, don't, don't think you should go in there now. I'm going back in. There's, there's something... ...deeper than a cat here. I think that's the problem. I... I think it's fine. You're over... Realize what this could do for us? Do what for us? We're already on the run. We don't need this attention again. Do you like it or not? I'm going back in. Adam, please. It's too late. I've already made up my mind. All right. So it's interesting that Jonah at first was kind of like, oh, this is going to be a bullshit job. It's going to be nice and easy. Like, it's clearly a joke that this lady has a cat ghost. But then after looking at the house, Jonah is severely sketched out. Uh, for I think all good reasons the house does look sketchy the whole situation itself is sketchy But Adam after hearing this scream is now even more interested in uh, Staying here and continuing to do this. So here we go night two the Exposure to the causes Whoa Exposure to the what? Wait, I've already made the exposure to the blank causes a great increase in video corruption and deterioration. Exposure to the what? How did you die? Where are you from? What year were you born in? Are you lost? Am I coming through? Loud and clear. Oh my god, behind you! Shut up! Do you see anything on the cameras? Oh my god, behind you! Dude, cut it out! Dude, seriously, stop! Turn around, oh please! Dude, fucking quit! What the hell did I do? Just forget. Yeah, camera's definitely bugging uh, out. Uh, what are you, what are you saying exactly? Dude, that's not funny. What's not funny? Let's take a tiny bite. God's probably not even looking. Oh, go ahead. I don't know. It was good, but suddenly I feel kind of scared. Hmm. Uh, don't think that was a coincidence. That was Adam and Eve, right? And obviously we're following a character named Adam. Image 30. Guess this is where I hit the hay, Adam. Sleeping inside the house is crazy. That is, you're out of your, you're out of your mind. Adam has 
some major balls. I would not know. Especially after the camera and stuff glitching out like that. Okay. That's not the locked door, right? The others. Hey, I lost visuals on cam three. You think you could check that out? Adam. Adam. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Left door. That door is wide open, dude. Open your eyes. Adam, please say something, bro. Patients report multiple sleepless nights after their symptoms initially become apparent. It is not difficult to avoid, however. The patient must try to actively seek it out. Is it talking about MAD? Image 333. Yes, we are on volume 2. Image 142, Adam, why didn't you come back to the car after you tried talking to it? Image 143, don't act like I don't know. You stare at these stupid pictures all day. I know you are reading this, Jonah. Look, man, I'm hungry and I don't want to leave without you. I'm kind of worried. All right, so Jonah's able to, like, send Adam messages through the pictures. I'm guessing it's something to do with their tech that they use. I don't know what you're so busy doing in there. Just come out of the car and let's go get a pizza, then come back home, please. Image 146. Jonah, look. The locked door is open. I finally hear the cat. It's meowing. Call me on the radio and you could help me with this. And this looks like the basement for Caesar's house. Nothing is worth the risk. What's the matter? Jack, are you telling? Don't. Just don't, okay? Please. Oh, so now you're taking this seriously. Dude, I don't know what you want from me. I'm as serious now as I've ever been. <laughs> this whole time, huh? So you fucking with me was you being serious. I get that I screw around sometimes, okay? But that's just what I do. Well, maybe it shouldn't be. Look, man, I'm just devastated that I'm not as broken as you still are with everything that's happened, and I'm sorry that I can't keep helping you carry this burden. What does that have to do with anything? But I'm 
reaching my fucking limit here. These things have taken so much away from us, yet you still run to them every chance you get! No, I- don't. Fucking listen to me! You're not invincible, okay? I know you thought that when we started doing these fucking death marches! And nothing happened, and I get it, but this right here is real. And you should know that more than anybody. What's that even supposed to mean? I wish we never looked for your m because she is dead and gone, and we were never going to get her back. What did you just fucking say to me? And I'm sorry that these are the lives that we lead today, but Adam, if you walk down those stairs, you'd be joining her. And if by some miracle you come back out, I don't think you'd be yourself. And I'm telling you, right now, that I won't be here to confirm that. Well then just fucking leave then! Leave! The fucking cat, man. Baited. Totally baited. Hard, hard bait. You goofball, Adam. You fucking goof. What are you? Damn, bro. What have you done? I did the right thing. Nobody is coming to help you. Nobody knows where you are. Shona? You there? Do you understand? Running from All right, that was a lot. That was definitely a lot. <laughs> um, well, just to just to talk about the Jonah part, uh, like we discussed in the beginning, they outlawed all like anything with screens, and they said like, "Oh, you really think that guy's gonna come on this screen and do anything to us?" And that's what ends up happening. He ended up going on the GPS anyway. So to be honest, despite me watching this for the second time. Uh, this is where I originally ended the Mandela catalog. I have no idea what is up with the basement scene with Adam in the basement. Um, Adam clearly has an interest in these alternates and these things because he lost somebody to one of them. Um, Jonah kind of mentions that um, we were never going to get her back. We should have never gone looking for her, implying either maybe a mother, sister, something like that. So yeah, but Jonah ended up leaving Adam and it does seem like Jonah may have died here at the end. It does sound like he gets out of the car and he's like choking or something. 
um i'm sure we're gonna hear back from this in future videos maybe not the next one but i'm sure it'll circle back i do not understand the whole scene here though the whole basement thing that happens yeah i'd like to say adam dies here too i don't know i i there's so much unsaid here that still needs to be explained video seven volume three 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 Also, guys, don't forget to like the stream if you are enjoying it. We're almost at 800 likes right now. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. What's wrong, honey? Everything's gonna be okay. That's it's the house. That's the house where the baby went missing. Goddamn. Hey. Hey, what's up? You started crying again. At the same time, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, I, I, I just don't know how to help you anymore. Are you absolutely sure it's not the- No. No, I, I keep telling you, it's not. I've had it unplugged for weeks now. I mean- Alright, a divorce agreement between Jude and Lynn. Alright, so the two people talking are getting divorced, unfortunate. This is June 8th of 1990, so I believe this actually- This would make sense if it takes place before the baby disappears. This would make sense. I guess I can come over and help you figure it out. Are you free tomorrow night? Tomorrow it's also night, before Mark dies. You promise you'll actually come over this time? He's still your child too, you know. I swear to God, Lynn, if this is just an imaginary friend or something, I'm gonna lose it. What do you mean? Do you realize how young he is? Wait, I think I'm understanding now. Yeah. All nuclear explosions and everything. So I just tend to today's chores and let the good Lord worry about tomorrow. The baby that gets taken is Adam. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. Speed hundreds of telephone calls as well as television programs. Who is this? Who am I, who am I looking in the eye of right now? Volume three, 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 baby. Nothing but lightning, to say the least. I learned a lot about myself, and uh, my colleagues in this room have learned just as much about me as well. I will never stand down for my base values, no matter how far up the ladder I go. Well, I may not be the most um, a spoken type, I protect and serve my city with pride, and I'm grateful to be rewarded as such. Thank you all. That was Lieutenant Thatcher. Um, I, I knew that there was something with either his parents or his sister or something. Yeah, like he lost his mother. I didn't realize that he's the baby that gets taken though. That still, that still confuses me a lot though. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Good evening, officer. Uh, one of our students, Mark Heathcliff, uh, he's been absent for the past couple days without any reason, no phone calls from parents, no doctor's excuse, and we don't have any apparent emergency contacts on file for him. If you could have someone pay a visit to, um, uh, the three... ...avenue and make sure everything's alright, it would be much appreciated. Oh, and if someone could try to get the contact info for whoever answers the door, that would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you, and have a nice night.
It's so funny how back and forth you jump in time here. Like before we were in 09, right now we're back in 92. Sheriff's Department, open up. Police, open the door. Um. Yeah, let's break the door down, maybe. Heathcliff altercation evidence reel. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jinx. <laughs> That's different. They're saying he died on September 21st, or is that just when they found his body? Because before we, in, in, the, uh, in the new version of Volume 1, you hear the gunshot on the 15th. At least that's what the recording says. You guys are saying 333 represents Gabriel. A lot of bullet casings. Or bullets. And the TV's on. Got the Bible and the reassurances book. God bless all. You do realize you just got promoted, right? You don't have to work on this bullshit case anymore. Listen, I, I got a lead. Okay? It's got some evidence to review still. That's it. I'll believe it when I see it. See you later. All right. Lock the door on the way out. Who this? Prince on doorknob. Oh, that was, was that Caesar? And this is Mark. Prince on handgun. Cassette player. Reassurances book. And camcorder. Shadow under the door tape. really want to get in voices outside my room mm -hmm. 
to open the door. No. I am not going away. Back to the reassur reassurances book. God loves me unconditionally. Always remember that no matter the circumstance, God loves all of us simply because he has chosen to do so. He loves me when no one else loves me. I am at peace. Again, like you guys said before, he does, Mark obviously does religious things after getting mad, which is specifically what you're told not to do. Today's a day that I need God's love more than anything. I am alone and need to feel the warmth of his love and reassurance. My Lord, I am afraid. I beg for your love and protection against evil. I have to... I have no chance anymore. The cops never came for me. Nobody came for me. Whoever is reading this, please stop it before it does this to anyone else. Who have I been... Who have I been praying to all this time? Who have I been praying to all this time? Who have I been praying to all this time? Okay, wow. Yeah, he definitely went a little crazy. My eyes are wide open. Alternate report, Cesar Torres, 18 years old, may display in human features, avoid interaction, call 911. Murray altercation evidence reel. Viewing intended only for Mr. Davis. Thatcher Davis. All right, Mr. Davis. I understand that you were hoping that I would be able to recover the contents of all of the tapes that you sent in along with your request note. I was only able to recover maybe about two minutes from one of them. I'll be copying my recording of it onto this one right after this. I, I mean, I hope this helps you with the rest of your investigation. If you need any more help, you can call me back or just send me another letter and I'll be waiting a response. Shadow Dave Lee. The might of the subconscious. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, hello. Now, you may be thinking, who is this voice speaking to me through my television set? Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Stanley. It is very nice to meet you. Hi, Stanley. Consider me a friend, because I might consider you one, too. I like having friends. 
How many friends do you have? That's great. Oh, I should have supposed to answer. Would you like to know a secret of mine? Yeah. I can make friends appear out of thin air. What was that? You want to know how? Yeah. Well, I can tell you, but you have to promise me that I am one of your friends first. Yeah, you're one of my friends. Great. First, we must consider what makes up a good friend. What do they sound like? What do they look like? What color eyes do they have? Always remember the most important rule. If there is a new friend that lives in your head, it is best to put it is best to put it is best. They're just as scared as you are. Okay. Have a friend in mind? Mm-hmm. Great. I think it's time to meet your new friend. Now just close your eyes and think really hard about your new friend. Can you keep an even bigger secret? Yeah. I think it worked. Your new friend is somewhere in your house. Now it's up to you to go and find them. All right. Uh, that does weirdly sound like the creation of alternates, right? Hmm. Nine one one. What's the emergency? Please, you gotta help me. There's someone in my house. I don't know what to do. I don't even know what they got inside. I could make noise and we those locked for mine. All right. All right, just, just calm down, okay? We'll get this figured out. Just need to stay quiet. Are you hiding? Yes. Does this person have a weapon? I don't know. I can't tell. Is this person threatening you or your family? No, he just stares in the corner. He's not taking anything. He's just standing there. I think my wife is hurt. I don't know what to do. It's going to be fine. You seem to calm down. I want to look at his face again. Okay. All right. Um, does this man resemble... Anyone you know by chance? No. What? I have never seen anyone in my life that looks anything like him. That can't be right. That doesn't make any sense. What? what? I'm sending over one of our officers. Just don't hang up, okay? I just got a 10-15. I'm heading over to the place now. Damn it. Okay. Um... What? Did you get a similar call? I uh, believe we got a home intruder. I apologize for the silence, sir. What's your address? Sir? Thatcher? I'm gonna need some backup here. What are you talking about? Where's the others? The officer that was already checking out the place just pussied out. Jesus. Hey, um... Bruce, what's the address? Nothing of interest came out of the automated camera setup. We will need to resort to an in-home inspection with Weaver as soon as possible. Lieutenant Thatcher Davis. I'm a little confused, but I wanna I wanna get through everything before I say anything. You can see anything? Yeah. Okay, so this is in Adam Murray's home now. But like when he was a baby. Right?
the TV again. Oh. No, Weaver, we don't, because everyone else fucking left. Sorry. Got 10.56. Adam's mother oh, hanging. Shit. Camera's down, Weaver. Weaver. Hello? Hello? Oh, hell Identify no. Yourself. Identify yourself. This is a police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Look. What do you want? Still in there, I'm gonna find help, okay? Just meet me at the station. <laughs> the way it reaches the hand over and shuts the light is crazy. He actually made it out of there, though. No backup, bro. 1018 requesting assistance from available by phone units. Requesting from another town, not a bad idea. It definitely sounds like Thatcher jumped out the window to get out there. MCPD. 1018 requesting assistance from available worksheet units. Wow, nobody wants to help. Did it follow him to the police station? Are there any available units in this area? Every day gets brighter. 
Bad decision, Thatcher. Ruth Weaver. Mark Heathcliff. There's not enough room for the two of us, Lieutenant. We're back to the eye. Damn, dude. Right, that was the last second of the video, by the way. That might be my favorite one yet. Oh my god, that's so... There's so much lore here, though, that's gonna confuse me now. It does sound like this is how alternates are created. It's through this. And this this whole segment here where they're in the house and they find the person hanging has to be Adam's mother, right? Adam gets taken by the intruder. His mom kills herself and then his dad gets replaced by the alternate that's here. Stanley's the intruder. I did not pee myself yet, no. Okay, you, did you hear the cars again? Video 8, every day gets brighter. Thoughts about the ordeal? Stop till they've taken everything. Everything I loved, everything I cared about is gone. I'm scared, but I can't show it. I can't show any fucking weakness, because if I act human, if I act like this is fucking bothering me, they're going to lose hope. Everyone's going to blame me for this. Okay, so Thatcher's definitely still alive. Everyone doesn't know what to do. No one knows what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I can't be the man everyone wants me to be. It's only it's only auto-generated subtitles, but I'll keep them on. I'm tired. I feel like I haven't slept in so long. And nobody knows what we're doing. All these missing people, and you know, they blame us for not finding them, but we don't know where the fuck they went. <laughs> they don't realize that we're in the same fucking boat as they are. That thing took something from me. I feel different. Seeing a perfect copy of you just walk away back out into the world. No one's answering. No one's telling me what's going on. I'm gonna kill this thing if it's the last thing I fucking do. I'm alive. 
life. But part of me doesn't want to be. All right, if you made it this far in the video, you are a trooper. <laughs> that was the Mandela Catalog Act 1. We still have to cover Act 2, which has three videos on its own right now, but it's totaling over an hour, I believe. Now, if you're watching this video the day that it releases, I'm actually streaming Act 2 tomorrow on YouTube at 6 p.m. EST. So that's Wednesday, 6 p.m. EST. So of course, if you guys want to see the rest before the video comes out, make sure to come over to the live stream. Again, just like Gemini Home Entertainment, I want to explain my final thoughts thoughts, but I want to wait until we finished act two. People were telling me that a lot is explained in volume four. So I don't really want to be like, oh, well, I don't know this, this, and this. And then you guys, it gets cleared up tomorrow. But if you did make it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for your support. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like on it. Also, if I did get anything wrong, be sure to correct me in the comments below before I end up streaming this act two. As always, please go and support the original creator, Alex Keister. Editing Marcus here. It's actually Alex Kister. I am so sorry. I need to go back to school i believe is how you pronounce it is incredible at this this is definitely one of the most in-depth analog horror series that i've seen tons of information tons of story all of it ties together in its own ways and i'm excited to see where act two ends so far also as always big shout out to all my members i love you guys so so much and all right guys i'll see you in the next one peace